As the capital of New Jersey, Trenton is a beautiful city that is rich in history and has contributed to the American landscape for almost 300 years. Its metropolitan area is diverse and has generational influences from Polish, Italian, Mexican, Burmese, Irish, and African Americans. Perhaps one of the strengths of Trenton, New Jersey is that it rests almost halfway between New York City and Philadelphia and is a melting pot of both major cities. Like many American cities that have a profound history, extensive resources, and diversity, some of the people of Trenton have challenges with the use of recreational and prescriptive substances. I moved to Trenton from Philadelphia about eight years ago. I started working as a therapist in the area as I had done in Philadelphia and had a chance to continue doing outpatient drug and alcohol work. Over 20 years, I worked for a number of different agencies and mental health providers seeing clients and helping to develop recovery plans for those who had lost their way. Because of this work, I have encountered some extraordinary people with phenomenal stories about the confluence of race, sexuality, and drugs. According to the New Jersey Attorney General's Office in 2015, drug overdose has been the leading cause of accidental deaths. What's more intriguing is that drug addiction tends to hit harder in communities of color and poor areas where there are limited resources and support. Budget cuts have negatively impacted the state of New Jersey and has reduced the number of prevention programs in Trenton. Individuals and families have experienced extreme challenges in an attempt to manage, care, and nurture those who struggle with the debilitating disease of addiction. Lincoln University graduate Langston Hughes questioned, what happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sore? And the run, does it stink like rotten meat or crust and sugar over? Like a syrupy sweet, maybe it just sags like a heavy load or does it explode? When one door closes, inevitably, another door will open up.